Hey guys, it's Connor bringing you episode 2 of my How to Make a Logo series. Uh, today is just going to be how to refine your render. Uh, so with layer styles, brush tool, textures, everything like that, that will help you out. Uh, episode 3, which is out tomorrow, will be in how to just finish up the logo with backgrounds, um, lights, everything like that. If you haven't watched episode 1, I highly recommend doing it as it shows you how to do the render or render like this. If, you've already, if you're already happy with the render you've got, then carry on watching this tutorial. If not, go down below before you watch this tutorial. But you can watch this tutorial up if, it's up if you really want to. So um, you're just going to want to... Sorry. No. You're just going to want to go to File, New, Width 800, Height by 800, File, Place, Go to wherever you have saved your. Where is it? Wherever you've saved your render. So I'm just going to place mine in here. And so then to make it a little bit bigger, just go Control T, hold down Shift, and drag the arrow out. If you look, it doesn't go pixelated. Now, first of all, we're going to do the layer styles. There's two ways you can do this. Okay? You can be a cheat and save time by getting. A pack like so so like grab one of them and you can just copy and paste it on good idea but I'm just going to show you how to do it properly okay but I will put this layer styles in the description down below so you could skip this section out but just double click on the render first of all go to gradient overlay we're going to change the blend mode to overlay like that then we're going to click on the gradient we're going to change this black to a middle grey and this black to a middle toned grey as well so if you tick it off there won't be much change but you'll still be able to see it actually just make this one a couple of shades darker so it's a bit more of a noticeable change then you're gonna go to um, probably yeah let's go and put a pattern overlay so just go to pattern overlay come here and we're going to choose a nice pattern this one here so just pick this one and it will give a grid and we're just going to reduce the scale and put it on overlay and just reduce the opacity a bit and then we've got a pattern overlay on that as well go to drop shadow don't have to really change much on the drop shadow because it just gives a nice effect anyway and then we can just put a inner glow on change it to a dark grey and yeah I think that will be enough be right back alright guys I'm back so now what we're going to do is if you haven't already got a pack just go and download my exclusive pack which I'll put in the description as well um, so it's here Please, okay. uh, go to textures in the pack and we're just gonna where is it? just gonna grab this texture hit control T <gasps> and just drag it over the shape of the render hit create clipping mask which will give the outline of it and hit overlay and reduce the opacity a bit which if you take it off and look it gives it a nice metal effect then you don't have to do this but I'm going to make a low opacity brush about about 20 opacity um, make it a little bit bigger like that and then we're just going to go over the metal bit on the outside of the render like so so the inside of it is the main part where the metal will show so we've done that it just place the opacity back up ready for the next bit so create a new layer go to your brush tool this time okay and put the size on about 15 oh put it on mm. 
put on 20 first of all. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a colour which is like the yellow that we've already used. So if you bring up the colour picker, you just get this here. So make sure you click, I'll do it again for you, click on the foreground colour and pick the colour that you want to change it to. This won't be the end result colour at, at the end in the main Photoshop thing in part 3. We will be using a colour corrector. So go along the top bar. Once you've clicked, hit shift and click across and that will drag that line. And then you can go to this one, hit shift and click. And then well, keep holding shift, click and click. Then come along to here. Um, probably go over all the blacks with yellow. So just do that. Remember to hold shift so you get the straight line. But do not drag, or this will, or you cannot go diagonally. So it doesn't work. So that will do for that. Make the brush a bit smaller for more intricate parts. like this and do the same on this side down here like so now you guys may have realized that I have only done this facing one side of the render where actually there is a reasonable explanation for that um, we've, you've got to take into account lighting when you're doing the logo so well from there if you click hit overlay reduce the opacity a bit that will then give a nice effect there and I'm just going to colour that in a bit and turn the opacity up two seconds okay okay mother <sighs> okay so hit uh, create clever mask so you won't make any problems and then on any bits that you don't really want that bright you can just colour over them a bit more on a higher yeah, opacity right. so if you look and we've got all the lighting done what you could do is I'm just going to make that bit yellow as well actually probably the hole inside of that because the lighting would probably still work there as well yep yeah. Okay, um, so what from there, what we're going to do is, there's not much left uh, to do in the layer styles, we could just leave it at that. If you really wanted to, if you if you are lucky enough to be able to use this plugin, which I'm not, just create a new render, copy, go filter, oil paint, and my computer isn't good enough, that's why in May, hopefully, I'll be getting a new computer so I can use oil paint. Or you, what you can do is you can click on the main render, go filter, filter gallery look through all of these things to find ones that you like so for example glowing edges that will just do that and yeah I don't like it on that but just play around with filter gallery and then I'll see you in part three which is then finishing the rest of the logo so I'm Xenon or Connor and I'm out